Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and More. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notifications and you won't miss any of my uploads. I have something a little different to do today. You guys see me do cooking videos. You see me do hauls, friend mail, things like that. I am going to be doing, um, this is like a room spray. This is a homemade room spray. First, you'll need one tablespoon of witch hazel, three drops full of the lavender. I've got some lavender here that I had bought from Dollar Tree. This is uh, Lavender Fields from um, Luminous Essence. But I also have the Mainstays uh, Lavender Essential Oil Blend from Walmart. Um, or you can use any um, fragrant oil of your choice that you like the smell of. Um, and then you'll need one teaspoon of baking soda and three tablespoons of warm water. Okay, now I'm going to add all those ingredients and I will um, write it down below in the description box so you know again what you need for this room spray. I have one of these spray bottles that I had gotten, of course it's got the blue to match my kitchen. I had gotten this at the Dollar Tree. What I did was filled it more than halfway up with just warm water. Now I'm going to mix the ingredients in. I'll probably pour just a tiny bit out. I'll pour a little bit out of here and then mix those ingredients in here. Shake it up really well and uh, I'll give it a spray. I know you guys aren't here to smell it, but you're just going to have to trust me, right? <laughs> trust me that it smells good. Okay, so first off, I will do the uh, one tablespoon of the witch hazel. So let me get that in. Okay. So comment down below and let me know how your all's weather is today. It is rainy here today, but that's okay, you know, because that just means no uh, obligations to have to do anything outside. My husband and I have been working so hard. Um, on the front in, in doing the landscaping and we are almost finished. We have to plant uh, the flowers that we decided we were gonna do azaleas, but we changed our mind in this one area uh, by our trees. Once we have that landscaped, I will do a video and I'll show you guys everything that we did. Um, and we do have our patio in the back. That's another project. We're working on all these projects at one time. Uh, we do have our patio torn off in the back, uh, but um, now we need to get it uh, leveled off and then get um, the concrete poured. And honestly, it's a matter of deciding how we're going to do it. We have a couple different ideas that we've found, um, but we'll see. But once it's all finished, and maybe I'll, I'll do a video of in the process. Um, but I will show you uh, when I put the video together of the patio when it's all finished. I'll show you pictures of the before and after. I mean, it's going to be nice. It when we first bought this house, the uh, the deck. Now we're putting on a patio. The deck was it was pretty dilapidated. One part um, they had like a wheelchair ramp, and I kind of struggled with whether or not we should keep it, leave it, keep it. Keep it, leave it. We kind of went back and forth, but we did. We went ahead and tore it down. And it was kind of like bit by bit. We've been almost here almost three years. And bit by bit, we kind of started to tear it away until one day, my husband, when I was back visiting family in West Virginia, he was like, I'm just going to tear it down because I have nothing to do and no one around me. So he tore more than half of it down, off, completely off. And then, uh, what was left him and I got together and tore the rest um, so now it's it's all down and now we just need to do the patio but anyways with that being said I've already put in my witch hazel of course I already had some water in there warm water now I'm going to put in a couple drops of my lavender uh, let me see which is the lavender I think smells nicer because you know different brands yeah no not a fan of this one no too strong. I don't know if it's sat too long, it hasn't been shaken up or what. I put a little, because I did put so much water in there, I put a little more than three 
I probably put about five pours of the lavender because I love the smell of lavender. And then I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of the baking soda. This is gonna be messy, so let me put this here. All right. So there's one teaspoon. I dropped a little bit. There we go. One teaspoon of the lavender. Okay. And now three tablespoons of just warm water. Okay. Which really, because I have so much water in there, I don't think I'm going to put three tablespoons. I think I'm just going to put one just because we've got so much already in there. All right. And I'm going to put the lid on it. Shake it up. It, I can already, it smells so nice with the lavender. Um, and like I said, you can use any essential oil that you enjoy the smell of. So, because it's all in here, I'm going to mix it really well. Just shake it really well. And it says that this absorbs unpleasant odors from carpet, upholstery, or even as a just a room fragrance spray. Um, so... Oh gosh, guys, it smells so good. All that water did not, that warm water did not um, like dilute the smell of the um, the lavender. It smells fabulous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna spray it. If you're if you're in a pinch and someone's coming over and you need a quick room spray and you don't have one throw it together like I said it's super simple one tablespoon of the witch hazel three drops of any of your favorite uh, smelling uh, essential oils uh, one teaspoon of baking soda uh, three tablespoons of warm water mix it shake it up very well and then go at it guys spray your rooms spray your beds spray your pillows I like to spray my curtains I just like my every room just to smell nice when you walk into my home. So, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys make this. If you make it, please, uh, if you have a YouTube channel, do a video so I can see it. And let me see what scent you used. Um, and also, um, if, you, if you don't have a channel, comment down below if you made it and let me know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, blessed evening. And until next time, bye, y'all.